Hello Planorettes, thank you so much for joining me. Today, a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a wonderful PR package that I received from Opalac Gel Polish. Now at the moment, my nails are naked because I do want to try one of the colors that I did receive. I haven't unboxed any of the gel nail polish yet, so we're going to see it together. Let me just show you first. What I want to do is show you the things that I do have already that I purchased or I received as a gift. So my Opalac Gel Polish collection started off with a nail kit. So I'm going to pop it right here. So this was a wish list that I had that I asked my auntie and my mum to join in for a Christmas present, I think back in 2019. So I wanted to do my own nails at home because it can get quite expensive going to the nail salon. My husband and I would normally do that as a date thing, maybe once every two to three months where we'll get a mani and a pedicure and so if I wanted to change my nail colors often because of course my hands and my nails are on show all the time it would be too expensive and that is not something that I could afford or would want to really be frivolous with my money when I can buy some other stationary stuff. So this is the gel nail kit that I received. Now the LED light that came with it, I did accidentally drop it. So I did buy a new one. So let me get that for you. So this is the second version LED light that I purchased. So it's the Opalac gel polish, but I did buy it from Priceline that do stock Opalac gel polish products. And the beauty with this one, it has a button that you can press because to cure the gel polish, it takes 90 seconds or a minute and a half. And this one, this version already has a timer, so which is brilliant. So when you're ready to go and cure, whether it's the base, coat, the top coat or the polish itself, you would pop in your nails under there and then that would all be light up with LED lights. So you've got LED lights there and of course the mirrored side back and bottom will reflect the light and will cure the gel nail polish. And then once the 90 seconds is over, the lights just turn off so you know exactly when it's ready to either finish off your nail polish or put on the next layers of coating. So that's the replacement LED light that I purchased because Silly Marianne dropped the first one and I think I don't know the light bulbs were no longer working. So that's the one I purchased as a second version with a 90 second timer on it. Now, I can't remember out of the nail polish that I did receive what came with it. But again, do check the link in the description. I'll pop that there so you know what nail polish and what other accessories comes with the, the kit. So then the other things that I have. So let me show you my little collection. I purchased a nail polish storage system from Dezo. So they stack up. Let me show you what it looks like when it's empty and it's at an angle. So then your nail polish sits at an angle. It's a bit hard to see. I only have the top camera because I am still in my pajamas. It sits at an angle. So let me show you that's how it looks on the side. So your nail polish will sit at an angle and then you can store it on a shelf. I have it on a picture ledge, an Ikea picture ledge. So then I look like a little nail salon at home with all my little gel nail polish. So some of these gel nail polish I purchased as part of a kit. So four will come into a set and then the rest are individual ones that I will wait until Priceline have a nice special on. So either they'll go at 10%, 20% or 30%. So I do wait until Priceline has a nice sale on the gel polish because then that way I can stock up on any of the color that I do not have yet. And then each one are labeled which color. Some of them do have the color on top. So what I've done with my little storage unit is I pop them in sort of a rainbow color. So we'll start off on my shelf, the red, orange, yellows, the green, blues, and purples, the whites and the glittery one, and then the darker colors. And then I also have my base coat and my top coat. So the base coat, of course, makes the nail polish adhere. So I'm not very versed. So what I'll do is I'll probably 
do a detailed video on what each of the coats. I'm one of these that get the package, whatever it is, don't even look at the manual and just maybe watch some YouTube videos. The great thing with Opalac Gel Polish website is they do have a how-to section that will show you tips and tricks on how to use them. So if you are starting out with polishing your own nails at home, they do have a wonderful <laughs> section that tell you what to do. But I really, at the end of the day, I just do it and then you learn as you go. Like many things, like any habit that you do build, you get better at it the more you do it. So you've got the base coat, they're looking a little bit manky. So if any nail technicians or anyone knows from the Opalac Child Polish <laughs> and then go, Marianne, your nail polishes are looking a lot bit manky. Now you do have two type of top coats so this has a nice shine to it and then if you wanted to make any of your gel nail polish matte they also have a matte top coat as well. So sometimes the darker colors I like to have it matte and then just give you that it doesn't give you that sheen and that beautiful glossy finish. So that's what I have. So let's quickly have a look. I won't go through the colors I already have because I do have quite a few. So this is three stack of nail storage and I've got some blank ones there and then so these are my blues purples and natural colors so you've got top caviar mauve and then I have my reds pinks baby pinks and then also some greens so this is the emerald apple teeny is really good because these colors match nicely with my background so if you have been here for a while and you have seen my background my rgb lights i can change and so i do like the pinks and the green cyan teal turquoise color as my background colors so i have those so i have one two three four five six seven Seven, eight, nine, and I do have some spare ones as well. 10, 11, 12. So guess what? I have enough space for some new ones, but I think I may have to buy some more of these because Opalac Gel Polish have been kind enough, like I said, to gift me a lovely PR package, which speaking of the devil, let's go have a look now. So bear with me while I put these things away. So this one is part of the PR package, but I have bought, I think already, this is my third bottle. So this is a shine and soak. If you've done any filing, clear off any dust particles. And then once you pop your nail polish on as well as the top coat, it leaves a sort of like a sticky feeling to it, residual feeling when it cures. It has this sticky finish. So you just get a cotton pad, soak that a little bit, and then you can just remove the sticky feeling. And then you're ready to go and it's like, it'll be like rock hard, which is fantastic. And the beauty about these gel polish polish is because of course I do write a lot and the way I hold my pen is it leans on this nail bed here. I've tried other nail polishes as well as dip nail polish other nail polishes that I have tried whether you're just normal traditional one that air dries the dip nail polish I did try myself what happens is that bit there will crack because of the continuous pressure that I'll put on it when I'm writing however the great thing with the opalac gel polish is I don't get any of that these are really good and I've been using them I think now since 2019 or 2020 the beginning because I did get it in Christmas of 20 so if you are a planner and then you're worried about getting your nail bed once after a nail polish that's a beauty of it is it doesn't crack or it doesn't have that leave any dent so that's brilliant so shine and soak I got this as part of a PR package but this is my third bottle because I have purchased two already in the past oh and just the other thing that I have purchased myself this is the O filer cordless electric nail file so you just pop in battery in there and it has all these different little heads you can go and file your nails and so two that I use the most is probably these two here and so this just gets in light right in the corners of the nail bed so very lightly so I do watch some YouTube videos to make sure that I am not wrecking my nail bed I'm learning and then you just pop these different heads on there and then you can turn it on and you can file away for so any of these let me see see any of these little areas here on the cuticle so very very gently if you do use these nail files 
and put too much pressure oh your nail bed will tell you ouchie so very very lightly do that and then as part of the pr package so i have opened it so i did a quick time what do you call them not time lapse whatever they're called i'll figure it out when i'm no longer talking about it little unboxing here and i'll just while i'm talking i'll maybe move this and you can see the video that i did of an unboxing so i got this box right here and in it a replacement file for these ones so these ones here you can remove the top layer of your gel polish when you are ready to take them off so you want to remove the shine so then the shine and soak liquid will react to the the gel polish and it'll melt it off do check the opalite gel polish website for the tips and tricks videos on how to do your nail care so the barrel itself and then you've got the replacement little file that you can remove so that was lovely of them to send that as well so because of course through use the sandpaper i guess will lose its grit and so that's part of the pr package so replacement filer for this barrel of the ophila cordless electric nail file this video is not sponsored and of course because i do love the opalac gel polish already personally and i have had them for nearly four years i do recommend because what i do is when i do my cleaning and my washing i don't wear gloves and I'm probably a lot of people go Mary you got to wear gloves to make sure you don't dry out your hands so I'm I'm not very good with that uh, because I need to feel when I'm washing up the dishes I need to feel that it's clean does that make sense please let me know in the comment section if you know what I mean that you need to feel that it's no more grit and when you've got the brush and the plate and the cutlery and crockery that I need to feel it so and plus I do have little hands and sometimes it's very difficult to find cleaning gloves my size so there you go just the essentials first got the nail filer and the buffer as well so you've got the I love opalac writing on there so that's great to you know clean up the edges and then buff the top coat if you do not have the O filer then to remove that top coat when you're ready to remove your nail polish you can also just have the buffer block so that's those and then so these are their gel remover foil so again i did a video right here on instagram a reel of the original version of the bungee thingy that you would go and soak with the shine and soak but for it to do really well and react you want to make sure that it's closed off that do air doesn't get in there so then it doesn't dry the little cotton pad that's in the foil so you would soak that you would make sure that that lays on the nail bed and then you would wrap if you have gone to nail salons in the past and i have myself i've seen them do this and then they'll wrap it and then you just wrap the foil around your finger and the fingertip make sure that it's air tight so then that way the pad does not dry out and of course it works a lot better so this is a pack of 50 so gel remover foil wraps this came as is so but you will get it in a lovely box that'll be great when it's time to remove your gel nail polish so the gel polish do last and can last up to 14 days so which is great and like i said you know i do my washing and wash my face and don't wear gloves and they do last now for me i don't make mine last that long so one of the ways i don't make it last that long is i don't buff my nail bed too much to begin with because you want a nicely sort of like a little bit of a rough surface so then of course your base coat sticks and all your nail polish stick and that's what makes it last longer as well but i don't do that too much because i actually don't want it to last for 14 days because i want to be able to change my nail polish as often as i can because of course i am on here on my live stream on a weekly basis and you know a girl's gonna have new nail polish as we go and then they also sent me 
this lovely little zippered pouch and this is the beautiful little brushes pro nail art brush set so you've got 16 pieces and each one of these have these great quality brushes and so i haven't tried any art on my nails yet however in the past i have used this other similar tool this little one here and so see how it's got a little ball head so what you do is you dip this into the gel polish and you can make nice little boop. Boop, boop, dot. So I might do that once I know the beautiful colors that I received from Opalac Gel Polish. It has 16 high quality brushes, a fine liner brush, stri striping brush. Oh, so I can make nice little stripes, maybe some nice check or plaid patterns on there. So that's going to be fun to do some different nail art on my fingertips and my nails. So that is the Pro Nail Art Brush Set, 16 pieces in there, and it's got the opalac text. The other one that I did receive is this Glow Palette. So it comes in a set of four. You've got Strength, Power, Beauty, and Courage. So that's exciting to play around with that. Maybe have one color and you'll have that as an accent color. So maybe you can have that a beauty one there and it has a nice glitter finish to it. There we go. So that's the Glow Palette. They came in this beautifully packaged box here. So it's nice and sturdy. Hello Nail Mail and sent to you with love from opalac.com. So these are beautifully packaged and look at that color there. Beautiful. So the package in a nice fragile mailer. They were in three of these beautiful boxes. So now let's have a look at what's inside. One, two we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so they have really spoiled me ruby and the opalac team have been so wonderful so thank you so much for this beautiful pr package so let's start off with the first one so this is exciting this is like christmas for me so it's befitting that i get all these little gifts when i first had my first opalac during christmas so we have gold mine Ooh, that that'll be good for special occasion violet spark so I do love a purple because then they go nicely with my planners. So let's let's pop them there. Let's line them up at the top there. Make them all like little soldiers. Next we have mocha. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, um, I'm going to be spoilt for choice of which one to have first black market so that's a good one i do like black nail polish especially on short nail beds they look so nice and then sometimes if you put a matte top coat that'll have a different finish mango splice now i'm not an orange girl but i do want to venture out into different colors so that's beautiful mango splice maybe for halloween or if i'm feeling very bold um two-faced so this is wonderful these one here actually change color depending on the heat of your nail bed so if it's cold it'll be one color and then if it starts to warm up it'll change I bought it in the strawberries and cream so that changes so that one I bought and I also have it in another color let me see if I can see it addicted to purple or oh, it doesn't have the little top but those are the colors that it changes to so I already have those versions so that two-faced one is sort of like a red and very dark maroon so that's one so we already have two four six these packages are really well so you know if you order from them that they will come padded and bubble wrapped so the next one is manhattan spark oh that's pretty so it has a little glittery shine to it can you see pardon my nail i've taken off my old nail polish what i do as well is i do keep my nails a little bit long but what i do is i after say two to three sets of different nail polish what i do is i do then cut them back the next one is love potion oh that's beautiful that's a nice one let's keep going this is so exciting okay oh 
Now, this is both Bluro this, so that's a nice high vis one. Let's see if I can put these ones together. So then that way they are sort of in the same color family. So the next one is paparazzi. So I think this is sort of like a greeny charcoaly color. So let's put that with the glittery one there. So let's highlight them here so that you can see. There we go. And then I'll have top coat and a base coat. So yes, always need them. And then, oh, Bora Bora. That's a nice sort of like bluish green. That's beautiful. Oh, sunflower. I like that one. Now I don't have too many yellows. I can't see what yellows I have, but that's a nice one. So here, uh, for those of you, again, who's been here with me, I don't theme a lot of my planner pages with season, only because here in Sydney, Australia, we don't get snow. Our winter is June, July, August, and it doesn't snow here in Sydney. So then trying to do a season theme for winter heat, for me, it won't make sense because there's no snow. I don't go by season colours. So even if it's winter, I'm going to use beautiful bright colors because that's sort of like my theme. So this one is the red carpet queen. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's got red and then sort of white flecks of little glitter. So let's put that with the glitter family. And then the next one, Poochie. There we go. I wonder if I have already got Poochie. How come that name sounds familiar? Poochie. So another sort of like purpley pink family. So let's pop that one there. See, the sad bit when it comes to opening present is you see the end and you go, oh. So we have six more left to go. Glitter after dark. Ooh, I might have to try these glitter. You don't need a special occasion to have glitter nail polish, yeah? So glitter after dark. That's beautiful. So that's that one. And then diva. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a nice color. I'm not very good with my color names apart from your primary colors and secondary colors. So that's more maroni tinge of brownish to it. So that's a nice one. That'll be pretty. Oh, which color to choose? Which color? Would that be more red or purpley? I'll put it in the purple family. Let's have a look at the penultimate little baggie. Espresso. Oh, yes. I love a good brown espresso. So let's pop that with the mocha. Misty Rose. Oh, that's beautiful. It actually comes out more like a, not as pinky. On camera, it comes out a little bit pinky, but it's more sort of like a muted. Oh, geez. I don't know my colors. One of these days, I'll know my color wheel a little bit more. So bear with me. That's why I do rainbow colors because there's red, orange, yellow, blue, green, indigo, violet. Very, very <laughs> straightforward. So that might go under. See, it has, see, you can even with like the brown family. So I'll pop that in there. And then the last bag, I think this is the last baggie. We have dun, 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 Rocky Road. So this one is more sort of like brownie glitter, brownie gold. So that one goes there. And Drama Queen. Well, look at that. The last one, Drama Queen. Uh, uh, uh. So that has a nice glittery green to it. So my filter that's on here a little bit is sort of like more the cool colors. It may come out on camera a little bit more cooler than in real life, but do check out opalac.com, their website for truer colors. And of course, if you see this on screen, it may be different to what you see. So bear with me. Let me quickly have a look what I have. So we have the glow palette, foil wrap, a buffer, a nail file, the brush kit, the shine and soak and replacement filer. Thank you so much to Opalac Gel Polish Ruby and the team. I do appreciate this wonderful PR package and I'm going to have so much fun trialing out all these new gel polish. So do check them out. Opalac.com website is in the description. And if you are in Australia and are part of the sister club, you can get the Opalac gel polish exclusive to Priceline as well. So that's where I normally buy mine because then I can get my sister club points. And as you know, this girl was on the cover page of the U magazine right here during their autumn campaign. So thank you so much. I do appreciate you. A little bit different 
different from our planner pages but you know this girl has got her nails on show each and every time so thank you have a wonderful day and let me know in the comment section which color you like if you can't remember rewind go back and tell me which of these gel polish from opalac is your favorite oh hey while i was packing up i actually noticed that the top coat that i received is the new version no wipe so remember how i said at the beginning that the shine and soak not only does it help remove the gel polish that it can also take off that sticky residue once you've completed and cured your gel the new version of the top coat is a no wipe top so let me quickly read from their website no wipe gel top coat is perfect for when you want to cure and go a unique formula no wipe top coat sets in 90 seconds without the sticky residue after curing so which is great because then that way you don't need to use the shine and soak to wipe off that sticky residue after curing so this is a new no wipe top coat from Opalac. so this is great because sometimes i do forget i'm eager to keep going after my gel polish has cured that i do forget that the original version of the top coat you have to remove that sticky residue so the new one no wipe top coat finish the gel process with opalac no wipe top gel coat a protective overcoat with a high shine finish that lasts up to 14 days so there you go i'll see you again next time bye for the second time bye bye